fruit is born on you. Sweet April shows her face. She laughs and smiles from out the blue. Through gauzy folds of snow, he lays his spring. There's spring. Each flower has found its place. Hi, I'm John Beckett. Welcome to the Under the Ancient Oaks Spring Equinox Ritual. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you what you know so you can participate where you are. You're welcome to simply follow along in the ritual, but if you'd like to participate, repeat the calls of hail and welcome and such. When I light the central candle, light your own candle. Pour offerings along with me. I'm offering wine. You offer what seems right to you. When we're done after the main working, we'll share a drink among ourselves. When the ritual is over, please be sure to dispose of the offerings in a respectful manner. Pouring them on the ground is ideal. You may want to leave them on your altar for a day or two. Pouring them down the drain is not recommended. Our main working is a planting ritual. If you have seeds and a planter, plant them along with me. If you don't, just follow along, and then when you get them, do your own planting ritual. Our deity of the occasion is Danu. While the Germanic goddess Astara is often associated with the spring equinox, that connection is rather tenuous. More importantly, I have no relationship with Astara. Danu has been a part of my life since my early days on this path. Danu is a very old goddess, and like many old primal deities, there are very few stories about her. Her name is connected to several rivers in Central Europe, most notably the Danube. Some believe she is the mother of the Irish Tuatha de Danann. Other scholars argue that Danann refers not to Danu, but to another goddess named Anan or Anu. I don't know. What I do know is that Danu is a mother goddess and the lady of the waters, and it is in that understanding that we honor her tonight. Let us now begin our celebration of the spring equinox. Let us now cast the circle to create sacred space in which to work. Let us now invite the spirits of the elements and the directions to join our circle. Spirits of the East, spirits of air, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your wisdom. Grant us the warm winds of spring. Spirits of the east and of air, hail and welcome. Spirits of the south, spirits of fire, we call to you. 
Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your inspiration. Kindle new life among us, spirits of the south and of fire, hail and welcome. Spirits of the west, spirits of water, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your love. Bring us the life-giving rains. Spirits of the west and of water, hail and welcome. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your abundance. Let us root ourselves in your rich soil. Spirits of the north and of earth, hail and welcome. I now invite you to light your own candle. This fire is the intersection of all times, all directions, and all worlds. It is united with flames lit, lit around the country and around the world, and with flames that burn in the hearts of all those who celebrate the equinox with us tonight. We who cannot be together in body, join together in spirit at this sacred circle. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful. Spirits of the land, spirits of this place, spirits of all the places where we gather, we thank you for sharing this place with us. We ask your protection and blessings on this sacred rite that we may learn and grow in honor and in friendship. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the land, hail and welcome. Ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you whose children we are and on whose foundations we build, because of you we have life. May we continue your lines in power and in strength, and may we live so as to be worthy of the honor of those who come after us. Accept this offering we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Mighty ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail to the fair folk, those in the courts of the various monarchs, and those aligned with no one in this world or in the other. We honor you as our good neighbors. We make this offering in hospitality and respect that our sacred work may be successful and uninterrupted. Good neighbors, hail and welcome. Danu, Mother Goddess, 
we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. Giver of life, be welcome here. Create in us what must be, so we can create what must become in the great work of this time and place. Danu, Lady of the Waters, hear us as we call to you. We thank you for the waters, for the streams and lakes from which we drink, for the rains which replenish and rejuvenate the land, and for the seas from which all life came. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Danu, hail and welcome. Modern paganism often romanticizes the agricultural cycle. We forget that farming is a lot of hard work. But there is perhaps no better time than the spring equinox to take our cues from agriculture. At Imbolc, we cleansed ourselves our lives, and our world. We come into the spring equinox clean, fresh, and ready to begin again. But what shall we begin? I've been to a lot of spring equinox rituals where the main working was planting seeds. But let's remember that we never plant seeds. We plant tomato seeds, or cucumber seeds, or geranium seeds. Folk wisdom in many religions reminds us that we reap what we sow. Spring is the time to make a conscious decision on what we will sow. What do you wish to grow this year? What will it take to grow it? This pot is a container. It is not a seed or a plant. It is not soil or water or anything else to feed the plant. Yet without it, the plant cannot grow. What containers are in your life? Do they give your life form and shape? Do they provide boundaries for healthy growth? Or are they constricting and limiting, perhaps even preventing you from getting the air, water, and light you need? Danu, Great Mother, please bless this container and the containers of our lives. Healthy plants require good soil. Consider what soil is. Minerals from the rocks below organic matter that was once living plants and animals, and tiny creatures that live in it now. Good soil will nurture and support the things that live in it and on it. Can you sense the spirit of the soil? What is your foundation? What nurtures and supports your life? What feeds you even though it died long ago? Danu, Mother Goddess, please bless this soil and please bless all the beings who support our lives. Life began in the water, and without water, life cannot continue. Consider where your water comes from and what would happen if that source was cut off or its capacity was exceeded. 
Danu, Lady of the Waters, please bless this water, the water that nourishes our souls. These are seeds, the potential for new life. What will you plant in the container of your life? What new life will you bring forth into the wider world? The more specific you make your intention, the greater likelihood that what grows will be what you actually want and need. Send your goals, your dreams, and your intentions into the seeds. When you are ready, plant the seeds into the soil. In your mind's eye, see what will happen. Darkness, new shoots, a growing plant. See yourself tending the plant. See the flowers or fruits that will come from it. As you do, also see what will happen with your metaphysical planting. The seeds of a suggestion, the beginnings of something new, the steps required to make it a reality, and the benefits it will bring when it is fully manifest. Contemplate the new growth, all the growth that is beginning here and now. Danu, Mother Goddess and Lady of Life, we ask your blessings on these seeds. May they grow strong and true. We have gathered together, we have invited our allies, and we have made offerings. I now invite you to join me and them in a glass of wine or whatever you choose to drink. Let us now thank those who have aided us in our right. Danu, Mother Goddess and Lady of the Waters, we thank you for your presence and for your blessings. May we always honor you in compassion and in strength. Hail and farewell. Mighty She, we are glad our work tonight went well. May there be peace and honor between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Mighty Ancestors, we thank you for your presence and your wisdom. May our time together renew and strengthen our connections across many generations and across many realms. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the land, spirits of all the places where we are, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May there be honor and hospitality between us now and in the future. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth, spirits of the west, spirits of water, spirits of the south, spirits of fire, spirits of the east, spirits of air, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. Hail and farewell. We extinguish the central flame, and as we do, we leave the sacred center and return fully to our homes around the world. But we know that as we have come together tonight, so we can come together in the future, even if we cannot gather around the same fire.
As best we can tell, the spring equinox was not widely observed in ancient times, and the time to plant varies widely by climate and by latitude. For us, the equinox is a time of equal day and night, and it marks the halfway point between the winter solstice and the summer solstice. And it is a time to begin new things. What we have planted tonight will not manifest tomorrow. It will not manifest at all if it is ignored. It is our job to water, to weed, and to shield our young plants from storms. It may be necessary to move them to a larger container. But if we do the work, and if nature and the gods smile on us, we will have a bountiful harvest in the future. The rites of the spring equinox are now complete. May the blessings of our gods and ancestors be with us now and in the days to come.